let's take a look at mean arterial pressure or MAP. Mean arterial pressure is going to summarize the average arterial pressure during one cardiac cycle, so one heartbeat. And really what this number tells us is how well um, the tissues and organs are being perfused, essentially how well the arteries are delivering that oxygenated blood. So um, let's go ahead and jump into the calculation and I'll show you exactly what numbers to push to find this. So let's just use our classic 120 over 80 millimeters of mercury. We have systolic and diastolic. So when we start this, um, go ahead and just click the buttons exactly how I click them. Make sure you know how to do this on a very basic, this is just a dollar store calculator, so make sure you know how to do it on a very simple calculator. Um, what you'll do is you will take systolic minus diastolic, and maybe that sounds familiar. And the reason why it's familiar is because that is pulse pressure. So if we were to do 120 minus 80, that gives us 40. Now don't hit anything on the calculator. We've taken care of this part. So now we need to divide by three. So you will simply hit divided by three equals 13.3 repeating. So now we've taken this. The reason why we're starting with this is because we're following the order of operations, PEMDAS. We do parentheses first, uh, the things inside of there. And now all we're going to do is then we will add the diastolic. So then we will add the diastolic, which is 80. So simply hit, remember don't round or do anything, just simply hit plus 80, that gives us 93.3 repeating. Always include your units, and those units will be millimeters of mercury. So this map of 93.3 millimeters of mercury is a good number. Clinically, a number anywhere between 70 and about 110 millimeters of mercury is really good. Um, a low map means that we don't really have good blood flow and that kind of makes sense because there's a lower pressure. Um, a higher map, so anything greater than 110 millimeters of mercury, might mean we have um, some edema. We have a lot of fluid, a lot of pressure building up. So hopefully that helps you with calculating mean arterial pressure. I recommend that you just make up some other numbers, follow this step by step, and you'll be good to go.